the best in this sport. Whether you like it or not, learn to love it because it's the best thing going today. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Georgia Players Section with Tavares King. No, Sean Marino. They're getting ready. We're going a little earlier tonight because, as you can see, the fellas, they're going to cheers it up real quick over there. But TK may be going against this guy. <laughs> no, Sean, tonight. Out living out there in Denver, I NBA it, Finals. Man. You know, we're feeling, feeling good. We're feeling good, fellas. We're going to the beach tomorrow. You know, I, I, I'm going to be in that sun. I was like, God, it's an omen. Heat tonight. The got heat. The, wow. Got the shuttles worth on. Threw it back. You know what I'm saying? Got the shuttles worth. You feel me? Wow. So, we out here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look, Listen. Well, because, you know what I mean? You should tell me. So I could have do something. No, I don't have yeah, you know you, that boy, you, 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 you can't. You, you got can't your Joker jersey over there? <laughs> nah, hey, I don't have any Nuggets jerseys. That's true. So, dang. It's if, I was going with the, if I was going with the Nuggets jersey, I'd go with the classic Carmelo Anthony Nuggets Ooh, jersey. That would, with the navy blue, that, would be, that would be the jersey I'd pick. If I had to pick anyone, I gotta go something like A.I. Hey, though. I mean, Iverson, you know what I mean? I forgot Iverson. Yeah, right? I did forget he played for the Nuggets. I did I did forget that. So that's why we're going a little bit early tonight. We usually go at 8.30, going at 7.30, got the NBA Finals. Uh, Sean does some radio out there in Denver, folks. He's got to be able to cover this intelligently out there. So he's got to, he's got to watch that game over there. But, um, guys, we are so thankful to have you here with us. Tim Collins, Andy Stowe, already oh, see sir, you in sir. the chat. Uh, come Ladies. on in, guys. Chat it up cut. with us. And make sure to go ahead and hit that like button right when you come in. Subscribe if you hadn't already. And you see over this shoulder, we got SEC head coaches, including the new guys. Oh, uh, Kong. Venables coming in because they're going to be part of the conversation. And on this, we've got not only our host from their time at Georgia, but we've also got every person we've had on the show here. You see David Pollock, uh, the Mr. Uh, WrestleMania himself, AJ Styles was in there with us. Michael good Bennett, one's coming up. Yeah, we've had a lot of guys in here with us. Uh, but tonight it's just gonna be us three chopping it up about SEC football. We're gonna talk about head coach rankings that we saw. Saturday Night South puts out some head coach rankings, and we're gonna chop those up a little bit. We also well, we had a little break. We didn't we didn't have a show last week. Uh life gets in the way sometimes, but in that week, okay, we we had the SEC meetings, spring meetings, and they settled on an eight-game conference schedule instead of a nine-game when it goes to 16 teams. So we're going to talk about that. And then, guys, let's go ahead and get this because you two, you play, you get out on the links a good bit. You play some golf, some big news in the world of sports, uh, and it really kind of transcends sports. I want to know your thoughts on the PGA Tour and Live Golf merging out of nowhere. OK, just like I mean, nobody, nobody, Roy McElroy, nobody knew this was coming. Kevin Kisner was going our guy, Kevin Kisner, uh, the former Georgia Bulldog, was going live on Instagram, having a lot of fun with it. So what is your guys thoughts on this PGA and live tour merger? And we want to um, know your comments in the section too. go ahead and throw your yeah, comments. Yeah, throw, them, throw them comments over there for sure. Um, man, for me, I, I think it, I think it was. Let's be let's all be clear here. Money, money talks. And if you're talking about sports in general, you're talking about an individual sport. Um, one there where, where there's not a really good uh, PA per se, NFL PA, um, where there's not a league office per se. So you're you're able to you know, Liv is able to go after the best of the best, and that money is long. And if we're talking about um what rules cash rules um so i think it was something that was bound to happen um in, in some way shape form or fashion but like the way it went down is kind of wild like for rory to be the <laughs> for rory to be the face of like uh the face of pga and to kind of be going against you know his his friends per se um and then for the pga to just basically be like <laughs> hey bro we going this way too. Um, I mean, they just went wild, like in a hurry, in yeah. a hurry. Yeah, it's like that, that cheddar. Yeah, who's the one that folded first, huh? Yeah, PGA for sure. I feel like, 
But no, nah, yeah, I just think about the players, man. Like the ones that turned down that bag. That that's what money. Tim Collins said. Tim Collins said, I bet the PGA players were saying. Well, that's what I'm saying. So imagine turning down, you know, 50 million, you know what I mean? 60 million, hmm. you know what I mean? To stay over here at the PGA and then you they just merge with them. So I, mean, I feel like the players should be upset. The ones that stayed and stayed loyal is like, bro, now we're merging with them and those guys just took, took the, got the bag and they could just come back like that. You know what I mean? It's like, bro, can we get some compensation? You know what I'm saying? So maybe uh, hopefully the PGA does something for the guys that stayed around. But, you know, it's just a crazy situation. But, hey, um, at least, you know, you got the best players playing against each other back now. You know, I love that. Right. So our guys, Tim Collins said he that same thing as you know, Sean. I bet the PGA players wish they had taken the money. Probably so at this point with what happened. Uh, Andy so said, y'all know what happened. Dude got paid uh, for sure. And Alex Page says, interesting what has been said about uh, Liv having money, but they were losing money. Of course, this benefits Liv too because it stabilizes things for them, mm-hmm. helps them mm-hmm. be more accepted. But here's my here's my whole problem with it. TV, is, all that jazz. Yeah, all that, all the the TV rights and all that's gonna that's where the money's gonna help them at. But my thing is, okay, once once the PGA made this more than about the sport, they went in and brought you know in like nine eleven families and all this kind of stuff and started taking a moral high ground on this stuff. Then just to fold and and join them, that just makes it look so bad. So if there's anybody that lost out on this deal in terms of your uh, looking like okay, you were taking a moral stance for something and then you just you know, folded like a cheap lawn chair. That is the PGA and Jay Monahan, and I don't see how any of those players can look at him with any kind of respect. I mean, you say what you will about the NFL. You guys were both in the NFL under Roger Goodell as a commissioner and stuff like that. But you guys say one thing: Roger Roger Goodell, he's got certain things that he's gonna he's gonna stand by, and that's what the NFL. That's what the Shield is gonna be be standing for that's what they're going to do and the nfl pa has to just fight tooth and nail to, to get against them i don't think that was the case with the pga and this and jay monahan in this yeah i mean like i said bro i mean yeah. the nfl has so so many more layers and, and to what they do from a front office standpoint i think as opposed to the pga and then you're dealing with 32 billionaires 32 plus billionaires um as opposed to you know um a few, I guess, less less than that in the PGA. So I think it's is is a little more feasible for for live and 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 uh, that Saudi money to to go get anyways. Yeah, no, Sean, what you got? What's your what's your kind of wrap up thoughts on on this? <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's get back to playing ball now. I mean, it is what it is. Um, who, who knows what, where it goes from now? Uh, of course, it's, it's so fresh. Still, players are going to be upset. Everyone's still upset. So let's just see where it goes from now. Somebody says if Jay Monahan gets fired, he can always be the Pac-8 commissioner because hmm. Colorado, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Arizona, yeah. Arizona State, Utah, they're all leaving the Pac-12. That's they're crazy. going to the Big 12 is what the reports are out there. So that's crazy. Oh, also, <laughs> Tim Collins. Tim Collins, you want it. The, the Zags, Big 12 is trying to bring Gonzaga in there for basketball. You watch out if that happens now. Zags get to say they're in a power five. There, there you go. There you go, Tim Collins. But uh, on the collective bargaining front and things like that, one other piece of news that I didn't even talk to you guys about yet, but it just kind of came out. The the college football players oh, yeah. are saying, saying we're not – we're not signing off on being in this new EA Sports uh, 2024 game because they're wanting to pay all these guys like 500 bucks a piece for their likeness in the game or something like that, and these guys are saying, ah, ah, ain't happening. So uh, you guys, y'all were in that game. Uh, y'all, were, y'all were part of that kind of stuff. What are your thoughts on that? And if you guys were in the same – boat now as though as you you know you you were in a little different circumstance back then but if you guys were college players now how would you feel about that i mean i mean everything's so in your face now you you're probably able to look up what uh a royalty check for a madden game is for nfl players so shit i want the same thing i want the same (laughs) i want the same thing that they get um so without uh, without getting too personal and those money or anything like that i do want to know did y'all ever get Madden royalty checks and and what and and what does one of those kind of look like if you're if you're playing in a Madden game? Just give somebody a ballpark idea. Is it decent money or what does that look like? I mean, yeah, it's uh it's pretty solid. I think if I can remember right, Sauce, correct me if I'm wrong. It's probably somewhere around fifteen k, fifteen to twenty, somewhere in there. Um, wow, so that I, is 
That's awesome. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, you got Yeah, I mean, a bunch of people pe- play and buy that game for the Tom Brady's, for the Noshawn Marinos, for the Peyton Mannings. Um, um, you know, them, them folks up in Haversham, they bought it, you know, for the kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, man. So, I, I, I think that's that's only right. Um, now, obviously, mm-hmm. with them, I think their names are being put on there as well. As I think I read that for the NCAA game, which is dope. I mean, I think that's, I think that was one of the, that was one of the best football games ever. That, that, that was fire. You can't, you can't run the option nowhere else except for NCAA, <laughs> bro. Like that, exactly. that, that game was hard. So um, yeah. I definitely think they, they need it. What you think, Sauce? Nah, same thing. I mean, bro, me, we used to play that game all the time in college. Bro. We were, I would think I was ranked top 10 in that game and when it was out, uh, so I love it, you know. What I mean, and if you think about me, five hundred dollars, like, come on, that's a slap in the face. You think oh, yeah. to yourself, you know, maybe if you're not even a starter, you know, you know, you're gonna be on the game, you're gonna be on the depth chart. You like, bro, five hundred? Like, come on, but give us something, especially if we don't got those big deals like the starters are getting. You know, what I mean, break us off with something. So I love that the players got together and was like, nah, we ain't having that. You know, what I mean, and shoot, like I said, bro, like you said too, TK, that that game was fire. It was a good it- game back then. This is a good point about, uh, you know, Jason Council said there's so many more players in college football as compared to the NFL, which is true. So it's not bro, like you get paid the same. $500, but, bro. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, yeah, I can give it to him. You could have came at me at least like five Gs. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Like, you know what I mean? Or well, you got to think the revenue, but especially because of the drought of not having that game, people are going to go nuts to buy right. it and, yeah. and be out there. So the revenue generated from it is going to be crazy. So for sure, I think there's going to be a process. Right. Listen, this weekend – this weekend or this upcoming week, there's going to be uh, NCAA people up in Washington, D.C. talking about NIL and legislation, all that kind of stuff. So we got more coming out of that. But on the, enough of the serious matters. OK, this is, uh, this is this is a little bit this is a little bit serious, but we're going to have some fun with this. Although I take some of this as a personal affront to football intelligence with what these people are putting out uh, Saturday down south. Okay, and Alex and Tim and Andy and Brett, all y'all, we need your thoughts on this because I'm telling you right now, okay, I think this is egregious what these people are putting out. Who put this uh, out? Dog? You, you have the, you have the, you have the um, Saturday Down South put the head coach oh. rankings for the SEC oh. out here. Okay. Let's get into it. Who's the Saturday Down South anyway? Like, yeah. uh, it's, just a, it's just a company out there that covers SEC football. They, they put a lot of articles out, all this kind of stuff. So they've got Nick Saban and Kirby style. Smart, one, two, right at the top. It's hard to argue. You could you could argue maybe Kirby's number one if you're talking about right Whoa. now. Who argued? I, I said, I said I if, if you're, if oh, if you're, 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 you're talking about argue. right now, Maybe, but if you're talking about body of work, definitely Nick this Saban. This is all body of work, ain't it? Listen. Yeah, I think I think in my mind it is. What are you guys' thoughts? Do you think this yeah, should be yeah. a right now ranking or should it be a body of work ranking? We we listen. We play in a what have you done for me lately mm-hmm. game, right? So what are we talking about? Like, are we going to live in yesteryear? Or are we going to talk about what we need to talk about right now? Um. I, I definitely think that's wrong. Uh, that top one and that second one can be 100% flopped. Um, and even maybe even with what transpired, maybe even Brian Kelly is in that two spot with what he did with LSU last year. So, hey, man, it ain't about – I mean, yeah, his legacy is amazing. Let's not Let's not not say that. His legacy is amazing, but what have you done for me? They're all saying right now too, but I just don't know how. I don't know how much no, Sean. You can. I mean, are we saying okay? What is our right now? Is it just last year, or is it the last you know three, Three, four years? I mean, yeah. I mean, you can't just totally throw away history. I'm not. I'm I'm not throwing away history, bro. I see what you're saying. I can go both ways, TK. But even if we went right now, or body of work for their whole career. I mean, I think I still will keep Nick there. I mean, okay. Yeah. All right. He had a down year, but come on now. I mean, down still, year for Alabama standards. <laughs> I, I know, which is crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he was still, they still did they thing. So, I mean, either way, if it was right now or lately, I would still keep that at the top, but 
Yeah. Uh, what, what you going, uh, Blaine? Well, if it's right, right now, now right? if it's right now, let me let me show you what I got a big problem with. Okay. What I got a big problem with is these two, That's and it's a combina- it's a combination <laughs> of right now and legacy okay. because th- <laughs> this man right here. This man right here, Mark Stoops, is the winningest coach in the history of Kentucky football. A hard place to win. What has Josh Heupel and Lane Kiffin done other than a 10-win season? And even in those 10-win seasons, Tennessee had their best best, uh, best season since George W. Bush was in office Okay, last year. And they still got their crap pushed in by Georgia and got drubbed by an awful South Carolina team. So what are we doing putting high point five? I don't agree with that. What is y'all's thoughts? I, I I love what you said. Like Stoops, we talked about it probably for two years, just how good, good and solid that defense plays um, year in and year out. And that offense looked good under Will Levis. So we can only hope that he looks good under your guy. Um, it looks good under your guy. Um, but yeah, I, I could, I could see Mark Stoops, being at being in that four spot for sure. No, Sean, what do you think about Heupel and Lane Kiffin being ahead of Mark Stoops? Is that what is yeah. that accurate? What do you think? No, I think you can bring him up some for sure. But then it's it's still, I mean, it's like this is like a now and a you know what have you done for me lately? Like a right now list and a you know a legacy list. This is crazy. Um, I'm still uh, I'm still stuck on number one because I'm like me well, too. I can't I can't recall. <laughs> I'm, I I've been shaking my head. I barely heard anything Blaine said about Mark Stoops. Right, but it's like I mean you could argue for Nick because you just like it's like one of those principal things where like you know you got to put him up there. You feel me? Like he's still the king. You know what I mean? That, but, I mean that's one thing. That's one thing we got. But then we got Jimbo Fisher, who I feel is only at number seven because he won a title with Florida State and famous mm. Jameis because the tenure at Texas A&M has been absolutely awful. And if we're going off right now or over the last five years, it has been a just horrific failure. So why is he at seven? Mm-hmm. Well, in that case, we know we going, it's, it's a legacy thing. Right? <laughs> so it's, like, it's like so back and forth. But it's not right. just legacy. They were terrible last year. Listen. Yeah, but still, we talking about Jimbo, baby. Um, and look at the, everyone that's underneath him. Collins is too high, you know. But he, I mean, who would you? All right, you bring huge, Hugh, Hugh, Hugh up. All right, you bring Freeze up. But then, I mean, are you really? Are you bringing Sam Pittman really from the way? That, you know, what I mean, all the way well, up I'll to tell seven. You that, that's my next argument. I'm putting Sam Pittman over Shane Beamer. That's what I'm saying. I know that. Yeah, I know sure. that much for sure. Um, Main reason is because Sh- uh, Sam Pittman has to compete in the SEC West, and Shane Beamer does not. Yo, can we, we should have made our own list. Yeah, that's like, what I was just about to say. Can to we make right our side. own to the side right here? That's we we, we going to come back to one and two. Are we good? Are we set on three right now, Brian Let's Kelly? Write it down. All right, let's go. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. So it's three of us, so we got to – Pick up. Yeah, uh, um, I'll just go T. I'll just go TK right yeah, here in the first, and then we'll then we'll go to the next. I I'm, I'm having a right. No, I want to. I want everybody to agree, bro. Right, it has to be. Oh, everybody to agree. to agree. All right, two so two we'll do two thirds of a vote. Who's number right. one? I'm keeping it at Nick because I just got to give it to him because he's the king. I can't. And that. I know you want to go curb, so go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going curb, but. He's I'm going Kirby, Kirby too, oh, just because, yeah. and he, here's why I'm going to okay. go Kirby. Here's why I'm going to go Kirby, because I don't think Nick has been anywhere near as successful once Kirby left, and Kirby now has taken his spot. So uh, I'm, I'm going I'm with Kirby at, at number work. one. Okay, yeah. number two. Go ahead. Uh, so then, of course, Nick. Nick. Well, well, we can argue this, because... You know, Kelly, Brian Kelly had a great uh, – is this a right now? Is this – you know what I'm saying? Can we come up to an agreement with that? Is this a right now thing or is this a, a legacy? Can we agree to something? I think even with right now, it took it, it took uh, 
I mean, it took LSU at home with liquored up Cajuns going crazy for them to, I mean, to the last second to take care of uh, of Nick Saban on a down year. So I still think Nick has got they Kelly. They're talking about straight up best coach. That's so what, what do you say. think? Do you think you he's better? Think the body of work that, that Brian Kelly had at Notre Dame was awesome as well, though. So hmm. incredible. Hmm. So, incredible. So we're going Nick or, or BK. What do you think? I think you. I think you have to. Stay, Nick. Yeah, yeah. I, even though I argued earlier, it, it could be. Brian I'm gonna Kelly go, Brian. Be, I'm gonna go, Kelly. So go ahead. It's on you again. I'm going, Kelly. Well, I'm going, Nick. So this has got to right. be. This has got to be BK, BK because of okay. because of that. So we'll go. All right. Y'all, y'all should y'all shame the y'all. Y'all should be shame the y'all. This is crazy. I gotta take a picture of this. All right. So who's number? Who's number four? four? I'm I'm voting Mark Stoops. Remember, this is this right it's, here is Saturday it's, down it's, south. Let me tell you something. Let me buddy. tell you something. It's tough for me to 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 go against my guy Lane Kiffin. I do love him, Lane. Me too, man. And he and he does such a good job recruiting. He does such a good job being him. It, yeah. I, I think I'm gonna have to leave Lane there. Okay. So you vote Lane. Who okay. do you vote, for, Sean? I just love what Lane do, you know what I'm saying? I do love what Lane do, though, you know what I'm saying? Like you said. Are you going Lane? Um, Is this hey, two-thirds majority here? I understand that. I'm looking at Stoops. I mean, I love – I mean, you got to think about what he's done at Kentucky, like, like you said. But he's been there for a minute. Um, and Lane hasn't been at Ole Miss for that long, and he's done some great things and recruited some good players, you know what I'm saying? So They were 7-0 and last year and then fell off a cliff. I mean, yeah, calm down. Calm down. There's a lot going on, okay? Calm down. Um <laughs> Hey, we can say the same thing about uh, uh, Kentucky. They felt the clip late as well. Yeah, um, man, they had a bad year. Bad look, offensive look, look, look. The, the chat, the chat over the here chat got, me wanting, Stoops, got me wanting to go. Stoops. Stoops. They all Alex Stoops. Stoops before the chat got me wanting to go. Oh, Stoops. they say. I feel like I feel like Unc ought to get an honorary vote here because of this. All right, I mean, what's he, the vote? What do you say? On this. Oh no, okay, hey, go I Kentucky. Mean, go Stoops, I, I, you go can't Stoops. go wrong. Go Stoops. go Stoops. Okay, go Stoops. So this that means to, this is hard to write. It looks like a kindergartner's writing this thing. <laughs> Listen, shout out production, man. Everybody get it. Yeah, whoa, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, this, this is a different. This is a different different thing. We're bringing a little, bring a little something to so, it. All you right, know? so who five now? So um, we got Stoops. So you're either going with Hypel or Lane five. I give me. Give me I don't lane. think there's a comparison. I'll, I'll take Lane. I think Lane as well. So we're two thirds, DK. Sorry. <laughs> you didn't say Lane, TK? Yeah, no, I'm winning. Lane, give me Lane. Oh, oh unanimous. Okay. Josh Hypo. Josh Hypo. Like, Josh Hypo. He looked like the the Tootsie Pop owl. Oh man. Josh Hypo yeah, looks like uh, Josh Hypo looks like the guy from mm. uh, On Stars. This is interesting here, guys. Jumley. Six is very <laughs> interesting because I like what you said, Alex. I'm 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 almost on the same page as you, but with with bringing Sam Pittman up. But it's like I can't put Sam at six. I mean, I, now, I now, 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 hold on, guys. I know what? Hugh Freeze has been has been that du- been a dude now. Yeah, Brett are Womack we, says, we, don't like Freeze, but it's hard to forget it, that beating Ole Miss gave Georgia in sixteen, man, listen, and he's beat Alabama twice. He listen, beat Nick Saban twice. Listen, mm. bro, Hugh Freeze is a dude. Are we are we talking well, about? Bro, him I gotta with, see what he can do with them boys over there first. You I feel me? That. Like. But he's done it in the SEC. He did it for the last couple of years at, at Liberty. It's not like they were bad. Mm-hmm. They won 10 games uh-uh. a couple this, years. We, we in the big leagues now. We and in listen, the big leagues. Listen, I, I, I'm going to argue against we, he back in I'm going to argue against Pit Boss at six because, listen, if we be, we going to be critical, bro. They ain't. They had Right. Understandable. And they yeah. got some weapons, too. They had some Yeah, they had weapons, KJ. But. They had – and we've mm-hmm. been talking about – we've been talking about KJ like he was – been gonna do something. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah so what? Who, give me a vote. We got. We got to put a vote in. What oh, are you going oh, with? Um. Too? So wait, we didn't even talk about Josh Heupel though. I mean, I, we shouldn't be. So y'all ain't even thinking about keeping him at six, bringing him to six. Yeah, yeah, disrespectful. Okay. So y'all, who are you voting? I, I don't like. I don't who are you like voting, DK? So let me. All right. Let me go. Let me go. I'm. I'm going Hugh Freeze at six, man. I. I all yeah. right, give me going here. freeze, freeze at six. And you going freeze? I'm going freeze too. Yeah. 
So then now the question is, do we go? That's crazy, man. Do we go <laughs> Jimbo? Should have, we should have our own list here. Because Oh, uh, but on his own list now. Right. Because it icing me so out. Are, are we going Jimbo or Hypo? So seven, seven Jimbo or Hypo. Bro, y'all, come on, y'all was just talking me. about Sam. We were you got to get you, you listen. Hypo did it last year, and that, that so I think first is okay. What have you done for I'm me? Going, I'm and, going, I'm going, I'm going Hypo here. I think Hypo fits here too. And what do you think, no, Sean? And it's crazy though. You're talking about you said lately, and what else? What, what were you about to say? This is how- lately, and he was also successful at USC this, as well, or U, UCF, UCF as I know, well. But what has Hugh Freeze? Done for me lately in the SEC. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. So, oh, but before right. he got before he got in trouble for his uh, cell phone habits, SEC, uh, he was rocking and rolling down there at y'all the Grove. Just, Y'all being super disrespectful right now, but okay, yeah, I go hype. Y'all crazy now, Jimbo? Right? Everybody agree, Jimbo at eight. Why? Why not? I mean, pit? Does, Sam, this I, is pit boss. Not pit? pit boss. Pit boss. This is it's crazy. Pit boss. Okay. If pit y'all boss. think pit boss, I'll go pit boss. You oh, would you go? Hope. But but you wanted. You wanted who there? You wanted I Jimbo? You can go Sam Pittman just because I think, you know, it's not like either one of them have won a uh, SEC West title yet. And then then, then you got to add, okay, Jimbo has beat Alabama and he also won a national championship at Florida State if you bring in his legacy behind it. That's why I think. But I'll put him at nine right now because they have sucked out loud. I mean, they have been awful yeah, over there. Him, he's, he's sleeping on my – my boys out there, my boys down at 12, y'all sleeping on them, man. I mean, I'm just saying. Hey, cause is, is this a lately or is this, a, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm back It's a forth. combination. You got to bring in both. I All right, so that's nine. But okay. That's, uh, what are we going saying? Not, I'm not, y'all, hold I'm on. Not. And, and I feel like Blaine is kind of trying to bully us here a little bit because I feel no, like. No, I'm not. We went two thirds. I feel like TK be having something on his mind and we ain't addressing that because I feel like. Well, who are you going at 10? Probably, probably, man, probably drink. <laughs> Where we at? Let me see. Probably you drink. Got, you would have Beamer left. You would have Napier yeah, left. Drink go. Sparkly and Arnett. I think I would go drink right here. I love what them boys are doing over there. I think and they're playing for them. I think so drink, are y'all bro. both vote, voting voting drink with? I would like to have drink, but it's really it's three. Let's see. What, what you got, T? I said drink. Okay. Okay. Let me drink out. Let me take just for the record. Just for the just for the record, my vote there would have been Clark Lee because going five Clark and Lee. seven, going five and seven at Vanderbilt last year mm-hmm. is like the equivalent of, or even better, of Shane Beamer going winning eight games at South Carolina. I mean, to win five games that. with that Vandy team and to wow. beat Florida and yeah, beat Vandy. Kentucky, that would have that was something. No, I so, get it. I can yeah. understand all this. I can understand everything. You're yeah, saying. you could put Clark Lee in maybe. But, Maybe 11. 11. You got to think about the players that, you know what I mean? Look, look at the season that Rocket Sanders had. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least if there's players balling, they might not be winning. They might be losing close games, but at least there's out, players out there balling. You know what I mean? It was, yeah. it was a couple guys underneath the drink. So, who, who are we going? Are league. we going? We got three left. We got Beamer, Napier, and Arnett. I feel like this is where Beamer's got to go for me. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that one. I okay. Think. I think. Mm-hmm. Is that a 12 spot? That's a, that's a good spot for him. Okay. That, is a, yeah. that is a good spot for him. I like mm-hmm. how you said that, TK. That is a good spot for him. All right, uh, 13. I feel like the only reason you can go Billy Napier here is because he's coached an SEC game and Zach Arnett has not <laughs> in terms of being a head coach. Yeah, I think that's the only reason because, I mean, obviously Florida's got having a lot to deal with, so I guess I would do that. But, yeah. We'll Billy. see, but Zach Arnett, obviously, man, we 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 talk a lot about his defense and what they were doing. Um, Next year, I think Zach Arnett will make this a different story because I think they're gonna they're gonna do some. Uh, so th- I think I don't think they're gonna be uh, really good, but I think you're gonna see, you know, him start to put his stamp on that because it's hard to go from an air raid and what Mike Leach was doing to a total pro style of what he's trying to do. It's gonna be a big transition for those guys. Hey. Get off my guy over there. He's seen every defense known to man. He's going to be all right. He's going to be all right. He's going to drop back and do his thing. 
I forgot. Uh, t- no shot is high on Will Rogers as I am Devin Leary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's the, my guy says he's all. I love me some Rogers, but I, I love it, man. I mean, so these I are our GPS. New offense. These are yeah. our GPS rankings. Tim Collins, uh, Alex, uh, Alex, somebody, Andy, some, why don't y'all take a picture of the screen here and tweet it out, <laughs> tag us in it, yeah, because we're going to have have this right here. So and, that, and that is has, our ranking. Hashtag production, too, for that. Yeah, hashtag production, because that is some high-quality stuff right there. I mean, that is – that's high quality. Is that so, the ball game? Okay, it's a couple. To recap, there. the GPS, the Georgia Players Section rankings. You got Kirby, then Nick Saban, then BK, Stoops, the Lane Train, Mister Freeze, Chumley from Tennessee, Pit Boss, Jimbo, Drink, Clark Lee, who looks Terry like Diane. Lex Luthor or something over there, Beamer, uh, Billy Ball down in Florida, and then Mister Arnett. So uh, yeah. we got it all taken care of guys we appreciate it. share that on social media it'll be it'll be a lot of fun we'll, we'll have fun with that so uh, i think i think so. ours a little better than um oh no, i mean yeah i mean it's closer. was there any doubt was there it's any close. doubt better that it would be better? Better. we look it's better close. than them too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's all good especially with a heat jersey on you know what i'm saying and uh, no shot not no shot not happy with that all yeah, right yeah, so I'm that sure was that. our sec rankings now guys like we said when we were out uh, there was some SEC meetings going on, and the big question was, okay, you got Texas and Oklahoma coming in in 2024, and everybody's getting riled up about, okay, do we do we go to nine games uh, in the SEC, or do we go to eight games or stay at eight games, even though, excuse me, even though you're adding two more teams, okay? Um, and the reason people are saying that, okay, now. What happens here with in terms of strength of schedule and all that kind of stuff? Because you're expanding the playoff to 12 teams in the same year in 2024. So, guys, would you have rather seen one more SEC game for everybody to play and get rid of one of those quote unquote cupcake games? Or from a SEC, former SEC player standpoint, do you understand, hey, these coaches that are want to? you know, help take care of their players a little bit by not having to play an extra SEC game. And then think about it. If you go to the SEC championship, that could, and you played nine in the regular season, that could put you at 10 SEC games in a year. Yeah. I mean, obviously from like a uh, strength of schedule standpoint, yeah, I'm, it's it's probably a little rougher, but, and then, but then on the other side of that, you think like, hell, I want to play again. I mean, that's what, that's what you come to the SEC to do is play against the best um week in and week out so it'd be fun um for sure to to play against those other teams but uh from a money we get back to that from a money aspect you want to help out those small schools you want to help out those uh you know d2 d d3 uh schools and and give them that money uh to come to come play or whatnot so uh, yeah, I, I think it's it's needed. I think you're, there's some optics that you have to look up, look at from those, <clears throat> from from those, uh, from those side of things. But man, I I think it could go either way. Honestly, like I'd love to, I'd love to play um, Oklahoma, you know what I'm saying, or or Texas, and add that to our schedule. Um, well, what? what this says it does is it says it no more divisions anymore. No, Sean, no more divisions. And what this the the article that we that we read and, and read up on all this kind of stuff. It says the single standings format, so one division will allow every school to play every other school in the league a minimum of two times. So a home and home in a four year period. So that's what that would allow you to do. So you know, no, Sean. I don't know. There's probably some teams, if you come to think about it, y'all never even got to go to while you were there. I mean, I don't know if y'all, if any come to mind, but is there any, you know, teams or anything that you're like, man, I wish I would have went and got to play there or something like that in the SEC. And what do you think about that aspect of it? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, I, I mean, either way, it didn't matter to me, either eight or nine. Um, yeah, you want to see more games. But at the same time, I mean, I like it where it's at now. It's almost one of those things where, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You feel me? It's, it's good. You know what I mean? We're competing. We're playing enough competition games. You know what I mean? So it, it's all good. Um, I what like do you think the, about Tim Collins' uh, 
comment here, oh, though, Sean. Get out the kinks. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I understand that. And sometimes you need that. You know what I mean? Kind of iron out some of the kinks and, and get back into that football form. Um, that's fine, too. Um, but at the, at the end of the day, it, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I like that. You know, you know that you'll go no more than a four, what, four year period to, to play somebody. Um, that's interesting. I like that. And I like that as no, no conference now. It's like, hey, the best of the best. Who's going to make it to the top? I do like that. Um, I mean, I think the only game that I would have liked, or like place I would have liked to have played that, only one that really comes to mind, and I don't see this ever changing, is, is uh, playing at Florida, actually. You know what I mean? Um, I think playing at Florida will be a, a crazy experience. Um, and having a crowd out on top of you like that, I think it would be awesome to, to get there. But I think that's the only one that really comes to One comes to mind to you, uh, TK, that you would like to – I'm trying to think. We've been kind of. Yeah. It's an eight-game schedule now, but it's divided that you have to play all the East teams and all that kind of stuff. And Mm -hmm. y'all probably didn't play. I mean, did y'all play Ole Miss or LSU at their place? Yeah, I played Ole Miss. I played Mississippi State. At their place, though? Yeah. Okay. Well, I caught a mean-ass crap at Ole Miss, boy. (laughs) (laughs) I'm talking. Bro, I thought I was about to die, dog. No, I ain't got no body fat. You played out there. Every time you talk about Ole Miss, it just the only thing that comes to mind is me just going there and having a great old time on the Grove. <laughs> I can't remember anything else. No, I never played there. Okay. So here's the interesting thing: Florida, Georgia, LSU, Missouri, and Texas A&M were the five schools that could vote out of 14 because Texas and OU they got to be at the meetings this year, but they couldn't vote. So it was it was a nine versus uh, five ruling on this to stay at eight games. But Florida, Georgia, LSU, Missouri, and Texas A and M actually wanted to have nine games. So Georgia, they wanted a, a big crack this at is, it. This is apropos today with all that smoke coming down from Canada, that wildfire. You know, Georgia's saying we want to smoke. That's what they're saying. They're saying bring it on. We're going we're going to play as many as many SEC games as you want. And Kirby Smart got up there at the podium and he said, I don't think it makes a hill of beans. I don't care. We're going, we're going to play whoever we play and bring it on. But there were – you notice who wasn't on that list? <laughs> Alabama. Alabama definitely wanted to stay at eight games. So, that's <laughs> something about Nick Saban and them. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 was, I was wondering toast. the same thing, uh, CT. That boy, uh, that boy out here pouring the spirits. Yes, yeah, I got this at the little – you know, they have a little market – down, you know, on Sundays. You know, as I go down there, you know, grab a couple of things. You know, they always sell us something. So I was like, I'll grab this. It's delicious. So, so we got just a little bit before that game tips off. So we got to get – since we got a Heat a heat fan here, mm-hmm. Heat guy going with the Heat, which, by the way, I think Jimmy Butler is a huge Georgia Bulldogs fan, by the way. I've seen him rocking the Georgia yes. gear a lot. So, he has? Uh, why, would, why, yeah. wouldn't, why wouldn't Jimmy be? You know what I'm saying? I love his game. Listen, I just, listen. Like, I was going. Listen, I, I've been rooting for the Heat since the last series. And hey man, we ain't trying series, to. Oh, don't I'm, just, well, I'm not backpedaling. All I'm saying, I, listen. I actually, I wanted the Celtics to make it through because I thought it'd be a better series. I thought that the Celtics, you hear uh, him, Jimmy, matched Jimmy. up better. Jimmy, you know what I mean, Jimmy, you hear him? No, I'm just saying. But I mean, I wanted the Heat to go, but then once it got to like Game Seven, I'm like, bro, all right. In this case. Just give me the Celtics, you know. I, mean, I think it'd be a better matchup. But I've been rooting for for the Heat to win all their games just because I love the way that Jimmy Butler plays the game, man. He brings that dog to the game. I love that. You know, what I mean, how can't you root for a guy like that? And he's dragging the team with him. Him and Anabayu, they're out there like, let's get it. So um, I love that. It's a t- tight series. Everyone here in Denver was couldn't wait to have the Heat. They were like, bro, give us the easy route, and we just want to chip. I'm like, bro, don't don't, don't be a homer. I mean, that'll be a homer. Let's see a great series. And we've seen it right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so game one went to the went to the Nuggets, right? And then the Heat bounced back in game two. Now you got game three tonight. Go ahead and tell us what you think. What do you think is going to happen? Let the people know. Game three, who's taking it? Oh, man, you, you, you see it for me. Uh, you see it for me, bro. Uh, they take it tonight? I mean, they're yeah, home. This is a perfect opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stole one, at, 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 you know, mm-hmm. out there. So I'm mm-hmm. com- coming back home to the to the to the sand and the beach, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and the palms and the nice wind. 
Yeah, taking I think their so. talents to South Beach. Yeah, taking their talents to South Beach. No, nah, man, I, I really think, like you said, Sauce, Jimmy Butler just plays a different style of basketball to where he takes control of the game when he wants to. And, and, how, and King says and, the Nuggets. And how he won't we'll get, hey, 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 cousin. I like your last name, but I don't like your, your pick. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, bro, Jimmy B, that dude, I think I think the, the heat tonight for well, sure. I mean, it's going to be a good game, I think. But, I mean, I, I forget what the percentages is, but, I mean, I think it's like 80-something percent. Um, whoever wins game three is the one that winds up in the, winning the whole series. So, I mean, if the Heat win it, man, uh, it, it's going to be a crazy series. I mean, because, I mean, it's been a lot of talk about Denver. So, But who I'm going with, bro, oh, this is a tough <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to go Nuggets. I, I, I'm going Nuggets. They better win this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going Nuggets. All right, so they don't. Here, I don't it's know all, anything right. about the NBA, so I'm not even going to put in a pick. I, I could care less. If it's not Gonzaga basketball, I, don't, I ain't watching it. So, so, it, so, 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 so we put on that. So a a bottom of wine. I want some you want one of these? It's toast. You want the toast? It's <laughs> toast. What it was? Toast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they shipped this thing out, too, if you want. It's it toast. toast. Yeah, give me some of that right there. Hey, yeah, it's 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 fair. Fair. And you put a little, you can put a little, you know, um, Hold on, man. Hold on. I can't be hyping them up. I gotta talk to them this Sunday. You know, I'm over hyping them up. You know what I mean? Like they got a sponsorship or something. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, hold on right. now. We but now uh, you can put a little little spark. What is it? Uh, some uh, I guess I'll, tonic in it, and I think it's delicious. But this is just I strange. just looked something up. Tell me I here. just looked something up. Kelly Olynyk, a former Zag, used to play for the Heat. I'll go with the Heat. Uh-oh. <laughs> I like oh, no. style. He's with the he's with the jazz now, so that's what I'm gonna go with. I mean, I I love history. I love uh, room for the underdog as well. You know what I mean? So would I be like Chris super upset? Get some cheese for that. Yeah, I, if I'm would I be super upset? CT, you know about the uh, about the uh, uh, toast? Nah, he don't know about that. He don't know about that yet. But if they uh-huh. did win the whole series, man, I wouldn't be upset, man. The eight seed winning the, the whole thing, man, it'd be awesome to see. So just to recap, uh, these were our these were our head coach rankings. Okay, we've got people <laughs> sharing it on social media. This is what Saturday Down South did right here in the middle. Okay, <laughs> these are their rankings. We yeah, went Kirby, Nick, PK, Stoops, Lane, Train, Freeze, Hypo, Pit Boss, Jimbo, Drink, Clark Lee, Beamer, Billy Ball, and Zach Arnett. So that is our SEC rankings. It's a good list. And you can appreciate- swap a couple, it's just one, or yeah. but you can't, you ain't going like from freaking four to nine in hours. You know what I'm saying? Like it's right there. You might flip, you know, 11 or 12 or something like that. But you know, man. Hey, working, crazy. working on some guests uh, for, for next week. Well, we got, we got yeah, a couple we got guys. Some good ones. We kind of got a couple guys queued up that we're working out the, the kinks with, trying to get them on. But we appreciate everybody tuning in. Hit that like button, share with your friends, be a friend. Tell two friends, okay? You be a friend. You tell two friends that uh, Georgia players section is rock and roll with Tavares King, no Sean Marino each week. Yo, we no, appreciate you just turn around and have those on. What just happened? I look over to the right, you know what I mean, to, to, you know, I mean, to see what Tim was saying. Hey, that's, how, that's, how fast, that's how fast. No, Sean, that's how fast. That's how fast. You know what I should have you know asked you about the, about the finals? I should have said, no, Sean, what do you think about the finals? Wait, what? I should have I should have just said no, Sean. What do you think about the finals? Why? Because I was just going ham. It doesn't matter oh! what you think. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's oh! how we gotta end it right oh, there. Man. We gotta end it right there. Oh man, Andy. Oh, so got oh, had to pull that one out. Appreciate you guys. Oh. Appreciate the super chat for uh, cousin <laughs> cousin King down there. Yeah, give us a super chat. Yeah. Pre- appreciate you guys. You no doubt. He'll get me next week. He'll get me next week. Stop All right. For, him. for No Shot Marino, for Tavares King, I am Blaine Gilmer. We'll catch you guys next time on Georgia Players Section. The best in this sport. Whether you like it or not, learn to love it because it's the best Thing going today. Woo!